What's the difference between sequence, syndrome, and association? This is a lesson in medical nomenclature or terminology, how we choose different words to describe different conditions. For example, sequence is a condition or a disease where there is a uh, sequence of events. Event number one will lead to number two, will lead to number three. For example, Potter syndrome has renal agenesis, which lead to oligohydramnios, which leads to lung hypoplasia. There is a sequence. And by the way, there is a video for Potter sequence and the link is in the description. You can go watch it. What about syndrome? Syndrome is association of more than one thing or more than one finding or symptom or sign. But there is a pathological cause. There is a cause that we can identify and point to. Okay, contrast that to association. You have more than one condition or more than one um, disease or more than one symptom, but they occur more frequently than by chance alone and there is no pathological cause. If we identify a pathological cause, we will change it from association into syndrome. For example, there is a condition named charge syndrome. So, charge was first described as an association we have different findings but we there is no pathological cause but after we describe that there is a problem in the chd7 gene we change the name from charge association into charge syndrome okay another example like down syndrome it's a syndrome why because there is a pathological cause, which is chromosome 21. Okay, that's the difference between sequence, syndrome, association. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. More videos are coming every single week. Please like us Facebook. Let me know in the comments what videos you would like. or would you like to be made?